Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL second round match between Gdanik and Andy Davo. We've got Nick with Woody's, a pretty nice Wood Elf team here, a POM, a POM dancer, strength up bodger, guard bodger, move up dancer, pretty nice. Um, versus a surprisingly nice, oh wow, a Necro team as well, that, have, that are down a bunch of TV. We've got a Wizard and Cheney, but like, it's min-max, like it's super min-max, it's actually a good team, right? Guard dodge, obviously love block, but he's nearly there. This guy's nearly up to guard as well. Extra guard here. Wolves are good. Like nothing, ex nothing exciting, but they're, they're functional, aren't they? A ball carrier under guard, so a bit of you know roll compression. I guess he's like the the weakest link, right? This, this guy's putting a lot of uh, doing a lot of heavy lifting. This gal. Yep. Oh, we're gonna see a. We're going to see a Daka. Daka very tricky versus Necro. Probably should have... Uh, uh, but then the problem is if you hold like a sideline with a tree, then um, obviously you don't want to get in a sideline confrontation with Necro. Necro is super hard at Daka against. I would be inclined to play properly against Necro, to be honest. I mean, yes, that was... If I was Nick, I would have I would have uh, said I was unavailable and tried to get an admin win, personally. <laughs> but there you go. Not using his surf me so. The problem with the Dakar is like he claws the tree, right? Like that's the worst thing about it. You're just letting him claw the tree. And he's got to stand firm, and he's got movement, eight frenzy tackle safeties. Like, they're the perfect team to counter a Daka, is the Necro. So, I I Dakered against Davos Necro once because uh, I was terrified of his team. Like, I think he had a claw pom, like, or a tackle pom wolf, and like a tackle pom white and stuff, and I was down like loads of TV. So, I, uh, I dacked as the only way I could possibly survive the match. Um, and then of course he removed on every block. But here isn't his team isn't that scary, right? He's got a the claws useless apart from the tree, which Nick gave him by dackering. Okay, he's got a pommer but he hasn't got tackled. And then Nick's got a Nick's got a pommer back. So yeah, this is one of the situations where a Dakar isn't great. Though, ooh, this is an interesting defense, isn't it? Maybe you go up this side here. That's shit, though. He's got everything on that side. If you go that side, he's got three walls. He's got to stay where you are now. Committed to the Dakar. Lack of, lack of other options. I mean, survived the bits, I guess. Hello, Paraville, indeed, yeah. Two former champs. Big name streamers. I mean, if it doesn't work. Perivale, then it will definitely settle that it's bad. And there's a real good chance of it not working. <laughs> Necro are nearly the perfect team to counter a Daka, right? Because their weakest link is the shit zombies. And the Daka is like... Do you know what I mean? It's, ba it's based on these being rubbish. So, like, it actually... The good players, you know, like the zombies are having less effect on the match. And Nick's good players are having less impact on the match. So, like, it's actually playing into the Necro strengths more, isn't it? The deck. A whopping 25 buckaroos. Way. You don't get higher stakes than that in Blood Bowl.
Yep, we skipped a few turns. Because um, obviously if day four overextends, he can be punished. So he's just holding here. And then what can Nick do? There's no point in him, there's no point in him trying passes and failing and then getting swarmed by wolves. Trying for the dodge through. Oh wow, not going okay, wow. Well I don't agree with just stopping. Oh, I quite like putting chin him in the extra hit, but I guess it's gotta hold the line, hasn't it? Holding the line is more important than getting an extra block. She's in a bit. Mm -hmm. Well, this hit then. It's really tempting to go down the sideline here, isn't it? There's a lack of side step, only a couple of side steppers, but I think you've got to. I think you've got to try and push forward here a little bit, as much as it sucks. Ah. Well, hey, glorious mighty blow. You've got a bench of three. There is the bolt as well for Devo or a fireball. So a wizard. Wizard is also some like it's you know, Daka can be a bit crap versus a wizard, can't it? So this is a pretty tricky offense. For Gadanik. Trying to dodge through again. Seem really worth it though. But anyway. Oh wow! Just opening with the foul and a Kaz. Oh, he's got a bribe. I didn't even miss the bribe. I thought I thought a wizard and Cheney was enough, but he's got a bribe as well, so that makes sense to start with a foul. Why are these two hanging? Yeah, now the flesh takes the sideline. Yeah, Devo does rely on Bribes quite a bit, I've noticed. Like, you know, he'll foul with his Strength 4, Edge 5, Dark Elf Blitzes if he go dry. Which most of the time it works, doesn't it? Oh, that's big. That's big. Huge. Huge switch now, isn't it, for Nick? The wolves can follow him, but... This is the... this is the way. I guess it's worth just dodging... dodging everyone through here. Rather than running around. I don't want to hit him, I want to just dodge away from him. Bit weak to a wizard. I wonder if like a double GFI would have been good for him. Or like have that guy a bit closer. I guess this guy is next to me. Okay, now it, that times up against the wizard, doesn't it? No, only a bit though. It's still very weak. It doesn't go for the post. I mean, it's unlikely that you get caught, isn't it? It's about 1 in 18, so... If you think it's worth... Like, I don't hate it. There was a time when I thought... You know, found the bride. Wow. Depends what you get out of it, isn't it? 
Oof. That was huge, wasn't it? Huge removal there. Dead, dead, dead. That is a massive, massive hit. I won't deny the bench. Yep. Good play. Good play by Nick picking the uh, picking the not dead roll over somebody that you're going to sack anyway. Many, many times I pick. You know, I guess movement seven, you could movement six, you could. But many, many times I've had like you know, say an arch busted dancer and then take the death. And then realise I'm playing against Undead. I'm like, whoops. <laughs> well, that was a pretty good turn, wasn't it, for Devo? Absolutely massacred him. Should be able to make this somewhat strong. But wow, that was brutal. I'm not sure it's worth committing the three players to hit Cheney here. Especially with the rest of the right, because you could commit two and then one in nine. Oh, he's got Juggernaut. Oh, wow, he's got Juggernaut. Wait. Is that Juggernaut and not piling on? What's piling on, then? I thought it was Pom. I thought he was literally a Pom dancer. Like, I literally thought it was a Pom dancer. So. Oh, Bolt rolls a one! Flip me! I like bolting the dancer as well, yeah, and then getting the frenzy hits on him. Oh, yeah, that's the piling on icon. Oh man. Oh man. I literally thought that was a pom dancer. I thought it was a banger pom dancer. But yeah, okay, then I guess being able to use Juggernaut is fun, isn't it? Nice bolt, where did you get it? The shit bolt shot. There's no movement here, though, is there? Well, no, I just thought... Ah, it's just, I guess it's I've got used to not playing Blood Bowl 2 and don't know what the thing is. No, I just thought, like, this is still going to be a tricky score. I guess the guard comes in. Oh, you don't need the guard. Yeah, so see if you power him first. Huh? Do not allow him. Now it gets tricky. Do you blitz Cheney and then hand off to the dancer? No. So we're gonna go four four two to score. It's not terrible, is it? I think I would have preferred handing off like the dancer and then leaping. Mm. I guess, I guess it's 62 degrees, isn't it? That's me, as in the saying, not as in you need to roll the six and two threes. <laughs> because there's not much difference between handing off to the dancer and uh, trying to get the power. Dakar has confirmed a good strat somehow. I can't believe it. I mean, that was really good against, against Dave or with Necro, with a wizard, and uh, it still worked, so there you go. Daka confirmed best strategy for Wood uh, for in the game, for any team. <laughs> Even with a tree against, against Claw as well. Crazy. Daka confirmed best strategy. 100%. It's a blitz. Dude, you've got to move this guy first. In case you, uh... In case you score. Because that would probably be re-rolling for a pal here, right? So I want these guys away so they don't get served. Oh, there you go. 
Frank's dog to the dog. Turns out Jimmy's the best. No, that's not. Re it's not true. I, I I don't believe you, dog to the dog, because you've got to. I mean, maybe maybe you're right, but you've got to you've got to like do the chance of him powering right on the block and stuff. And there's the chance of there's the chance of like I don't know. Could he blitz with the wrestler? If he could blitz with the wrestler, then there's a chance of the one in nining versus the dancers. There's it's actually quite complicated. It's really complicated. Like obviously a three two is better than a four plus with dodge, right? Because that's straight away just twenty five percent fail. So like that's obviously better than that, but then it gets complicated with the, the power chances and everything. Yep, a uh, bit of a dicing so far. Is this gonna foul the tree here as well? Yeah, a bit of a dicing. You wouldn't believe, like, with three reserves, you would be down men in the second half with, like, as few hits as Dave has got. That's a nice little chain, isn't it? With an extra assist. Lovely. Lovely. Wait. And then doesn't get the extra assist? Did he need it? Okay, let's look at this. How can you chain into the extra assist? And then not move this guy in. Oh, because there's another player there. The one who he chained in, him into. Oh my god, I'm a moron. I'm a complete moron. Anyway, he killed the he killed the tree. There you go. Dead, dead, dead. I I'm half asleep. In my defence, I've got up at um, 6 a.m. after only five hours sleep. So you know, um, sorry YouTube, I'm half asleep. I'm 100% committed to streaming for you guys, though. So there you go. Obviously, and I knew he chained him as well. I'm like, oh, what a great chain to get his additional assist. Why hasn't he moved him in as well? Because he's literally the guy who chained him was down there. Oh, my God. So, yeah. Tree gone. Um, guard tree and strength up line are gone. Five cars. It's a bit of a dicing, isn't it? It's a bit of a dicing. You would think with like the DACA limiting hits as well. The one thing you would have taken is less attrition, but. Uh, yeah. It was Ali Raider, yeah, pretty good that it was the one who couldn't become a zombie. But then, of course. Dave was pretty light on players. Still got his bribe as well. So, you know, it's just going to get worse and worse for, for Nick. Which, again, kind of makes it even more unlucky in the way that he had the bench to stop, like, the snowball of, like, removals leading to more fouls and everything. But now, there's been so many removals that uh, it can continue. A bench of three. Well, well, Perivale, <laughs> if you come to this channel expecting any sympathy for Norse, <laughs> I'm afraid I've got some bad news. <laughs> I'm going to find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> Way. Just a joke there, by the way, in case anyone's stupid. <laughs> oh. So I guess now Nick, being down players, goes all in here. No good, no glory. Tries to uh, intersect the team. Or just does a one blockless one day. Oh no, it's a block one day. And gets cast again. Brilliant. Brilliant. You see, Nick realised that uh oh it was a strength two, oh my god. Oh no, he got strength two. No, he was strength two. He was already strength two. And he just put the guard in. Did he think it was a two D? He forgot the strength two, yeah. Nice one, Nick. So that's it, see, so so Nick went a turn without getting anybody cast and he thought, holy shit, I've got to do something to even the odds. And uh, there you go. Skull, death, and uh, 
Hmm. Yep. That's pretty bad for getting the strength boost, isn't it? Like, when you're the guy with the strength boost, that's the thing, you know? Like, if Dave would have gotten the strength boost, then he gets a free pass, basically, because you don't expect it. But when it's your play, you should remember. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is a massacre. Seven cars. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, yeah, this is this is approaching comedy mega now. Okay, maybe we're at comedy mega and we're approaching insanity dancing. He's still got a lot of players. If only this move up was on a catcher. Eh? Really hard one turn with sidestep and two stand for him. But he's got the jugs, hasn't he? For one push. But he needs two. And he hasn't got sidestep. I mean, no, he's got sidestep on this one. He's got move nine sidestep, but he needs he needs two pushes. So the jugs are not that good. If only Mali, yeah. Have you been enjoying Fumble by the way? I saw you I saw you playing a little bit of Fumble. Yeah, holy shit. I'm pretty open to this kind of dicing, aren't you? Play, yep. Kill. They played at 8 this morning. I thought they were playing at 8 at night, so I thought I was going to uh, do my stream and like play my game. I played my fumble game. But I was going to play my fumble game and then cast it live. But they played in the morning. Lunatics. That's pretty funny, Nolly. <laughs> the sprite's unplayable. Insanity dicing. When the uh, when the cas box is full, it's an insanity dicing. You've daedled. <laughs> You've daedled. Oh man, I should have a Minecraft zombie. Is that a Minecraft zombie? I can't really see it. I should have a I should have a Minecraft zombie. In mode. Why do I have five losses? Hmm. 
Yep, the, the one turn is just not possible. I think there's no way he's filling in the gaps against a sidestep. Obviously, only gets one push on the, on the stun thing. It is, but that's, that's Blood Bowl, isn't it? Like, that is just literally Blood Bowl. It's, uh, it's a bit of a shit game sometimes. <laughs> itself is just the whole chain it's like it's nearly it's nearly a competitive game but there's just too many things stopping it being oh my god overflowed cas box mark of an insanity dice never give up Nick <laughs> you never know what might happen with your six players No five, yeah, these two on two killed. Six L's was too many. <laughs> Literally too many, I just looked at the three in the KO box. Oh yeah, it could win the toss. Yeah, you could just win the toss and not one turn, you could just uh Yeah, with five players you could still score, right? It's not over. It's actually not over. Don't say it's over. I mean, now he's definitely going to have four elves. No chance of that not being a removal. Yeah, so he could have five elves and then win the toss and then, like, potato down and get on, you know, a sideline cage with... Something you know, like there's a there's there's a shot if he wins the uh, yeah four elves in the toss. I mean, you could have five elves in the toss. There's there's absolutely a chance. Not a good like, not a good chance. He's got a slim chance. <laughs> if he gets all three KOs back and wins the toss, he's got like you know probably a ten percent chance or a five percent chance, something like that. <laughs> it's still diabolical if everything works out. Hello, Tippin. Tippin. Brilliant, the old uh, corner cage for this. You can, um,. You can't hit him. You could have hit with Cheney, but neither then he's alone. Yeah, he worked out that he couldn't hit him. <laughs> also, dude, you've made nine cards. You really don't need to like put make a one in twelve nine six chance of not winning the even if it was that which it wasn't. That high. It was worse odds than that. Right, three. So he's made one KO roll. So if he gets both back and he's got five players and he wins the toss, he's got half a chance. The tiniest chance in the world with two more players. Don't say it's over! Howdy? <laughs> 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 oh yeah well there's three players though is it possible is it on with a one turn is it on with a quick snap so you put two players in here so the sidestepper goes forward and the guard goes no, so the sidestepper goes here and the guard goes here and then he leaps there 
and then two Ds, right? It would be a leap or a dodge. Maybe you dodge actually because you need the rerolls to get the thing. So the guard would set. Well, the guard goes to here. The size step. The move nine goes here. This guy. Oh, he's got a double dodge. Okay, so he goes here, leaps into a two D, which he can pow, and then sidestep the dancer to here, and then the guarder goes away, picks it up, lobs it to him. So yeah, yep. That was actually he could have one turned with three players there on a quick snap. So yep, that was pretty bad from Dave or to allow that which is you know hypercritical because he's made nine cars and obviously he's like la 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 I've won ba, 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 ba. Um, but yeah that that was that was a really you know and obviously Nick set up for it and had he got a quick snap he would have he would have had a chance at the one two Insanity dicey. It's never gonna, never gonna work out well, was it? Imagine just losing. It would have been hilarious. It would have actually been hilarious. And like, obviously, David would be unhappy. But it, you know, ultimately, like, you know, every, lots of people, lots of people would, you know, do that mistake, right? And not, and also nobody would learn from it as well. <laughs> like it's just one of those things you just can't help it, can you? Really, as a, as a human. Like maybe if you're, you know, maybe if you're getting paid footballers' wages, you would never make that kind of mistake. But who gives a shit about a little kid's <laughs> board game? <laughs> Like you give a shit, but not a big shit, do you? Is the ting? It really would have been a legendary moment. Yeah, it would have been incredible. It would have actually been like because it would have been a. It was a really cool move, right? It was a really good spot by Nick and Razzle. So it would have been it would have been a really good play and not just rolling some dice. Oh you just seen it. Oh, so Nick said it on stream. So it was just all on Nick. So well done Nick for the spot. No credit to Razzlestorm. <laughs> who was just repeating what the streamer said like an absolute idiot. <laughs> Trying to take credit for the glorious streamer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, not making that three dice. Outrageous. Outrageous. Oh, I guess he's got side steps, so you can't make it three and three anyway, so maybe you are better off committing less to uh, maintain a strong position in case of tragedy. But, you know, could have made the safe moves first, right? Could have made the this guy to here and this guy to here or whatever. Could have done that first. Number one gone. I've got a feeling that the dimmy coefficient is going to be strong in this match. Let's see what we Two players left. <laughs> Not dead? Wow, Nick's so lucky. <laughs> Not dead yet. Oh my god, there's a Kaz. Wow. And then put him to 28? Or him to 47? Which one? I guess him to 28, then he can score again. And also he hasn't got block, has he? 
So yeah, this flashing. This fleshy is the one. I would have got them both downfield, the fleshy and the girl last turn. To get more chances to hand off to him. Okay, move move the fleshy. There we go, dead. Not dead yet was absolutely correct. Right, you've got to hand off to this 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 fleshy. Cheeky Jimmy. Literally have to. Yep, pitch clear. Still plenty of time, but I, I'd have moved him up last turn and, like, you know, just assist with different people to foul so that you have more chances to, like, get up field and hand off to him. Must have been really fun for Nick, yep. 10 cars. No, 11 cars. 11 cars. Jesus Christ. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Started with three reserves. Ended with three, three reserves, <laughs> except the three reserves were KO'd, <laughs> and the 11 starters were all cast. <laughs> that is a dicing, isn't it? Flip me, and with a Dakar, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. 21 AV bricks. For 23 blocks. I mean, he made loads of fouls, to be fair. He made, he made upwards of 16 fouls. But, um... 23 blocks sustained into 11 cars and 6 KO. But yeah, and loads and loads of fouls. And like, you know, the fouling is, shouldn't be understated. There were loads and loads of big fouls. Um, so there you go. Unbelievable match. Um, commiserations to Nick. <laughs> and congratulations to Andy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.